Listen, bro, call me Robotnik the way I got dick. Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Game Skates today. And only today, we are here to talk about why a 2D Sonic is absolutely on. So I'm here to tell you why, what I think is going on, and everything. So, guys, without further ado, let's get right into this. Of course, subscribe to your boy, support the content. 2023, we're going to go hard with more unique ideas, fun videos, and all that. And I thought today would be a fun topic to go over this. So, 2D Sonic, right? A core pillar of this series. In fact, we have up to this date, I believe even last year, Takahashi, Izuka, uh, continuing to clarify that yes, 2D and 3D Sonic are going to be completely different entities. I think he said that, you know, they don't really mix too well and that matching these elements and all that stuff isn't really working anymore. I think we all sort of realized that. I think, you know, a game like Sonic Generations was, you know, a genie in a bottle type beat. You know, it was also a celebration of the past, so it made sense. But then, you know, you have a game like Forces where it felt like the 2D levels were forced. Uh, and also, not gonna lie, you even have Sonic Frontiers with a lot of 2D levels, which aren't really the highlight of the game. In fact, on Chaos Island, there's nothing worse than when you get sucked in to the 2D sections and what's called your camera's taken away. So the team understanding about how it's called 2D and 3D should be separated is a good first step about all this. Now, keep in mind also, the thing about 2D games is they always show up in some way or another. You might think that it's been a long time, right? But even if it is a re-release or something, 2D Sonic is always available in the conscious in some way. Think about it, right? We had Sonic Origins last year, 2022, and then we had Sonic uh, Mania Plus and regular 2017, 2018. And then before that, we had the 3DS era, which even if we don't like them, there were two Sonic Boom games that were 2D Sonic games, right? And then obviously, you know, you have the Rush games on DS, you have Generations 3DS, and a bunch more in there. So it always feels like there's always a 2D game somewhere, you know? Like I said, whether it's a collection or it's a new game or an old game, there's always some sort of thing going on in the 2D realm. They want that to be an active thing because people like that. You know, it's just like Mario, right? With Mario, there's an audience for 2D Mario, there's an audience for 3D Mario. Now, obviously, a lot of those overlap, but 2D definitely has its own style. Now, the big question, right is who would be making this new 2d sonic game if it's happening right i was trying to narrow it down in my head so first of all everybody who knows sonic thinks of dims right away dims if you guys don't know big history with 2d sonic you know they worked on the rush games they worked on the advanced games they worked on even sonic 4 uh and a bunch of just 2d sonics in general but the last sonic game they actually worked on was the sonic lost world 3ds version so it's been nearly 10 years now since dims has really been involved with sonic in fact i looked it up dims is actually way more involved with dragon ball lately you know they've been working on stuff like xenoverse they worked on that new game dragon ball the breakers which is and eh. so they are on a big bandai namco uh what's it called hi because they've been working with them a lot now again I don't know what it means for Sonic. I don't know if, you know, they had a falling out or there's just been nothing coming out of it or they're still working on something. But they are definitely, like, the top candidate for 2D Sonic because they have such a long history working on those games. But at the same time, like, it's weird that it's been 10 years without them working on a project for 2D Sonic. So I'm not really sure, you know, what to do about that or if they're going to work with them. But that's definitely one developer to eye on. Next up, you know, a lot of people would think about the Mania team, right? The problem with the Mania team is they went ahead and made their own studio called everstar studio and they're working on their own 3d platformer ip so they're also off the table right now again unless sega is working with them in some magical way you could get headcanon you know who they they helped you know rework a lot of the stuff for sonic 3 and knuckles in the collection now again problem with them is that a bit of a beef with sega one sonic origins law la launched and they were talking about how you know it's called they had some issues with the team and how they were rushed to do certain things so i don't know how that relationship with sega is looking so again another developer that's possible but definitely a big question mark so the next logical big one would be sonic team themselves you know i feel like maybe sonic team has had a small team of people working and cooking a new 2d sonic game because theoretically right theoretically if what's called origins you know was worked on by sega what's called sonic team and headcanon at the same time right and also you know they worked on frontiers maybe there was a handful a handful of people that were starting to you know r d and project a new 2d sonic game you know and i think there's that's the highest possibility right now another possibility is they get a fan you know it's, it's not beyond sega nowadays to bring in fans to do stuff and when you see crazy projects being done like sonic and the fallen star or people bringing back sonic you know triple trouble 16 been making these full 2d sonic games that are incredible it wouldn't be too crazy for sega to bring in one of these teams have them help out you know with a new 2d sonic game or something and then the big question pulls up is what kind of 2d sonic game is, is would it be right i feel like there would be genuinely two 
options to go about here. So first of all, I think what I think would be more exciting and more fun is a modern 2D Sonic game, right? We see so many of the modern Sonic games have these 2D levels, right? But why do they always feel off, right? It's because these are designed around, you know, modern Sonic. So when modern Sonic was supposed to go crazy fast, you associate with the speed, starts going into these 2D sections that are a little more methodical and slower, right? It starts to become like a little, you know, not necessarily weird, but like it doesn't feel as natural as if it was built up for 2D. So I would love a modern 2D Sonic. And what I mean by that is a style like something like Sonic Advance, you know, where it is modern Sonic or something like Sonic Rush, where the idea is, you know, you can have multiple playable characters. You have the sense of speed of modern Sonic. Like, you know, obviously the Rush games are super well known for actually having the boost and they work well in there. You can do cool tricks in the sky. Like that would be so fire to me. You know, my, my ideal world is a 2D modern Sonic game. You know, and I feel like they could do it with 3D models. I don't think that would be too much of an issue. You know, sort of like Sonic 4, but obviously done better. Don't yell at me. Chill, 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 chill. And it's like, hey, do y'all want to be crazy and make a Sonic 5? I don't know. I don't think, I don't know if they'll ever do something like that. You know, it's sort of how like Nintendo never, you know, says let's make Super Mario Bros. 4, you know, officially. Obviously, you know, there's Yoshi's Island that people deem as Mario Bros. 4, but you know what I mean, right? I'm talking about like a real genuine 2D Mario in there. But yeah, I wonder if Sega would ever pull that trigger to do a Sonic 5, you know, fix what happened in the past and make something crazy with a modern 2D Sonic. Either way, it could be fire too. I mean, think about how many new characters there are, new cool combos you could do. Like, imagine I want Shadow in a 2D game. You know, that shit would be fire. I'd love something like that, you know? Or that's maybe where you introduce the IDW characters, you know, put Tangle in there, put Surge, put Whisper. I feel like a 2D modern Sonic game would be a cool way to tie in IDW, bring some new characters in, and even honestly, bring some old characters to I mean, think about it. When was the last time in a 2D game I could play as Amy or Cream the Rabbit or what's it called or Tails and all these well Tails okay obviously all the time but you know what I mean like the more like the more advanced character styles from back in the day I think that would be fire and then Route 2 is Classic Sonic right we do know that they value Classic Sonic as a little character as a little dude right and I feel like Keeping him in the forefront of what 2D's identity is could also make sense alongside, you know, 3D Sonic's existence. And again, I think I think there's two ways they go about a 2D classic Sonic. First of all, like I said, they can make something like a Sonic 5, or they can make a Mania 2, where it is, you know, hey, let's also bring back old school levels and all this again, or, right or they stylize and for what i mean by that is you know make it like an art style make it cell shaded make something like really cool with the look of a new classic sonic game because i feel like if, if a classic sonic game just looked like you know how he looks in generations or forces i feel like that could be a little lame but i want something stylized you know there's that one fan game that's like trying to be what's called a 2d sonic game that looks like the opening from sonic cd which would be fire you know something like that is, is really sick you know you could also have what's called something like i said a cell shade style something like a new pixel art style sort of like sonic in the fallen star i either way i just i don't mind classic sonic but if you're going to do it i want it to be stylized now obviously in a perfect world the mania team is still there they're working on all new original levels and sprites and everything because man when you saw that magic like levels like studiopolis or you know the desert level or the cherry blossom area like those places stood out so much and i would love more of that but again very difficult to do and keep in mind takashi Izuka has straight up said that 2023 is going to have a lot of content and is meant to be the follow-up to 2022 now obviously you know we know we know in a lot of ways what that means we got the dlc for frontiers coming we got the knuckles show coming up you know we got what's called a bunch of small stuff in there but i really do feel in my heart of hearts like it is time for a new 2d game it will have been five years since mania plus came out i know origins came out but that's not the same thing and i also think in a good way because origins is out and we officially have these games remastered on console and everything i think the only place you can go to now is something brand new and original you know so i think it's coming let me know what you all think guys what do you want from the next 2d game would you rather it's modern sonic you know with the boosts and more characters would you rather it stays to the classic realm and maybe you get you know more classic characters in in there and all that stuff with more stylized stuff let me know what you all think thank y'all for watching of course i'll see you all next time peace out